everybody! In this video, we'll talk about the light triangle or the exposure triangle. How many times you've heard this when you are talking about photography? In this video, we'll talk about it. Aperture, ISO, and shutter speed. Light is measured by stops in the camera. When you have a perfect exposure and you take one stop down, then the image gets a little darker. If you add more stops, then it gets overexposed. We have three ways to let the light enter your sensor. They all work together and they are called the light triangle. Imagine the light triangle as a secret recipe for perfect exposure. It consists of three key ingredients, aperture, shutter speed, and ISO, as I mentioned before. Let's see how they come together to create the magic in your photographs. The aperture, represented by an F number, controls the size of the opening in your lens. Imagine the aperture as the eye of your camera. The wider the aperture, the more light enters the camera. But that's not all. The aperture also affects depth of field, or how much your image is in focus. Now pay attention. I mentioned that aperture is represented by an F number. The bigger number, like F16 for example, means that the aperture is small. And the lower the number, like F1.8, for example, means that the aperture is wide. Okay, this could sound a little confusing, but with practice you'll get used to it, don't worry. With a wide aperture, like a 1.8 for example, you let more light in and you create a much higher depth of field, so less is in focus. And this is very good for portraits. With an F16, for example, it's completely the opposite, the aperture will be smaller. More things will be in focus, very good for landscape photography. Now let's talk about shutter speed. It determines the length of time your camera sensor is exposed to light. So if we think again about the eye that I mentioned before in aperture, it would be how long the eye will be open. You can be very creative with the shutter speed. A fast shutter speed freezes motion, which is very good for sports, while a slow one adds a sense of motion blur. This is very good for long exposure pictures that are so nice. But be careful, because too slow a speed without stabilization can result in blurry images. So I will suggest you to use a tripod if you want to do a long exposure. Next up we have the ISO, a sensitivity setting that affects how your camera responds to light. A low ISO like 100 is perfect for bright situations because you really don't need to add ISO in these situations like in a bright daylight for example, while a higher ISO like 1600 comes to the rescue in low light conditions. If you put 1600 ISO in your camera it is going to add light but always remember that it is not real light but one kind of artificial made with your camera. Also beware of noise. It can sneak into your photos at higher ISOs. Even though nowadays the cameras have a noise reduction system inside and even with softwares like Photoshop or Lightroom with the new AI it can take out the noise, it is always better to take a good picture from camera instead of fixing it in post. You have to practice to understand more how the light triangle works and why they call it like this. I will give you an example. Imagine that you want a very nice depth of field in your photo and then your aperture is wide open and that is actually adding three stops of light in your photo which makes it overexposed. Then you can try to keep your ISO as low as possible and maybe that takes one stop of light which makes your picture still two stops overexposed. Well, then you have to play with the shutter speed. Try to make it fast in a way that it compensates those two stops. And voila! Perfect exposure. As you see, it's like a game and practice will make you an expert. Okay, now we understand what aperture, shutter speed and ISO are. The real magic happens when we balance all three sides of the light triangle. We need to find the perfect harmony to achieve the desired exposure. Guys, I hope you liked this video and if you did, don't forget to give me a like, also share it with somebody that could use it and subscribe because it's free. Until next week.